Hi there. My name is Cassandra Fultz, and I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. Today, we're going to talk about the Additional Family Information Form, otherwise known as the IMM 5406, and this form is submitted as part of a spousal sponsorship application. We see a lot of mistakes with this form, so I want to give you a few tips that should make it easier for you. Number one, the form should be filled out from the perspective of the person being sponsored, that is, the principal applicant. This form should not be filled out from the perspective of the sponsor. Now, please keep in mind that this form, the IMM 5406, is not the same as the IMM 5465 Additional Family Information Form. That form is for people applying for visitor visas, uh, study permits, work permits, any type of temporary residence. You cannot use that form for this application. Now make sure you do include the spouse, that is the sponsor, and all of their information including their address in Canada, marital status, obviously their married or common law, place of birth. Make sure everything is filled out completely. One other thing that you want to keep in mind is for family members, you need to include their complete address. It should have the country, postal code, city, province, everything relevant to the address. Now, if the information is not known, you should make a statement that it's unknown, and you should also add an explanation of why that information is not available. And finally, make sure that the form is signed and dated within 90 days. Anything longer than 90 days ago is stale dated and not acceptable by CIC. Now, if you have any other questions about the family information form, please feel free to leave them in the comments below or give us a call anytime. Have a great day.